Amazing how quick the clouds come and go. A moment ago it was totally clear and now it's like the, the forest is on fire. Hello. We are here at, where are we? We are here at the small village of uh, Zauchau and here you can see they have um, paintings, wall paintings. This is a small village with some paintings. Not really masterpieces, but it's colorful. And if you take this road, number, number 122, you can stop here and have a look. <laughs> Cute, cutie cute. This one is good. We are here at, where are we? At the uh, Ranchao village on the way to Guanwu in Shinzu County. That's correct. That's correct. And here you can see cute, cute stuff, painted walls. We are here at a little place called It's Alice Cafe and Food where we will have lunch. So this is just a few minutes from the painted village. Here you can see they have a nice dining area. You can sit here, it's uh, windy. Old bicycle. This is the toilet. Okay. Hours. and the view is nice the weather is great it's sunny let's have a look inside so you can see they have a lot of small cute stuff the bar, the kitchen. Let's go upstairs and have a look. Oh, that's nice. There are no typhoons. So if uh, you can, cannot sit outside, you might want to come up here and... Oh, those trees are beautiful. Yeah. The flowers on the trees. 
This is a very cute place. Yeah. Salad, sandwich with Italian sausage and melted cheese. Bacon, vegetable and iced tea, lemon, Italian noodles, German style curry. Looks very yummy. All right, we just finished our meal. It was great. Uh, I highly recommend this restaurant. All right, we are now at the indigenous village of Ching Shui, which is also a hot spring area. And here behind me, you can see a suspension bridge and another suspension bridge is over there. Let's have a look. Here you can see a map of Ching Shui. You can see they have one, two, three, four, five bridges. Four of them are suspension bridges. We are here right now and we are now going to the Zhang Xueliang old resident. So here is a beautiful wall. You can see indigenous people making mochi and traditional hut. Some kind of ceremony going on there. Someone pouring a drink and a warrior with a pipe and a wild boar. Cool. This is the Qing Chen suspension bridge. Windy. Okay, I'm here on uh, the Ching Chen suspension bridge right now. Down there, the river, I think, is the Shangping River. It's a beautiful day. It's beautiful, nice clouds. This area is not very uh, touristy. Not many people come here, but it's beautiful scenery. They also have hot spring. Here we have the former residence of Zhang Xueliang, who was the effective ruler of northeast China and much of northern China after the assassination of his father. He was an instigator of the 1936 Xi'an incident in which Chiang Kai-shek was arrested in order to force him to enter into a truce with the insurgent Chinese Communist Party. As a result, he spent over 50 years under house arrest, first in mainland China and then in Taiwan. This residence is one of his houses where he stayed under house arrest. Take a foot bath. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Now here at the Catholic Church of Ching Shui. This church has been around for quite a long time. I think it was rebuilt in 2004 after a typhoon. It destroyed the church at, the, at another location. Let's go inside and have a look. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. The glass art is really beautiful here. So what's interesting in this church is that there is a mix of like Christian imagery, Jesus on the cross, but also you have a lot of indigenous tribe uh, images, which is uh, quite an interesting mix. So the friendly priest of the church just told us that he did these mosaics himself over a span of 15 years. Awesome. Fighting with the lion. Yeah. That's David and Goliath. Oh no, my eyes. 
I like the colors, the uh, orange. How is it going? Okay, one more thing. If you uh, come to Ching Shui and you want to stay for a night, the uh, Catholic Church has a hostel, which is around here. They have a lot of space, like uh, even tour groups can stay there, uh, in tatami-style rooms, so you sleep on the floor. We made it up to the Guanu area, close to our homestay. And look at this beautiful scenery with the high mountains, deep valley. The sun is slowly going down there and throwing the shadows. And if you look closely, you can see all the way down to um, the coastal areas and further down to um, the Taiwan Strait. This is the place where we are staying tonight. Looks nice from a distance, but if you look closer, you will realize that it's not a five-star hotel. Um, it's not a place uh, we will recommend to stay at, but uh, for just one night, it's okay. It's simple, uh, and that's all uh, I can say about it. It's uh, about eight o'clock now in the evening, and I am here close to our guest house and I'm here to shoot some creatures in the wild and I just found a, like a, how do you call it, it's not a frog, it's a... We just arrived at Guan U, where we will stay two days, checking out forests, mountains, nature, and stuff like that. The place we are staying at is the Xueba farm. Let's find out if it's any good. So we are now first going to check out some rooms in these wooden huts. They look pretty new to me. It's very clean here. Let's have a look at the room. So this sleeps four people. The mattress is firm. Spotless clean here. There are, here's an area to sit, coffee. The TV is here. No view, just trees. But those are cherry trees, so in spring they might bloom. This is the uh, wooden hut we checked out earlier from above. You can see it's surrounded, the area is surrounded by high mountains. Oh, they have kiwi trees here as well. So there's a plant here, the leaves of which you can eat. This is the leaf. And now I try to see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Very fragrant. And I think they make tea from it. Now we are going into the woods. This way, 
and the trail of the name of the trail is Yema Ganshan Forest Trail. This trail has a lot of roots all the way up. Right here we have a lookout spot, but unfortunately it's all mist, you cannot see anything. This sacred tree is special because it had rotted from inside as they do with age and the government tried to uh, eliminate it because it was afraid it was going to fall down on the pathway and hurt somebody. So they tried to burn it two times, but to burn such a tree down literally takes a week or more. And so both times they were burning from inside and the rains came, put it out. So they tried the second time, weren't successful again, and so finally just gave up. Now you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm burning on the inside as well. I think I had too much fried chicken. Heartburn. There's a lookout spot ahead. Hopefully we see some sea of cloud. We are now headed back to the farm. We are going to enter the blueberry garden. Okay, let's try one. Mm. Oh. A bit sour. So they actually have different types of blueberries. So if you come here to um, experience the blueberry garden, you want to pick blueberries from different bushes and then mix them together and then eat them together. Mm. They are really delicious. Mm but a bit sour. I guess they are full, full of vitamins. Okay, now we enter a room with a lot of wood, I think collected by the, um, the owner of the farm. Oh, Ooh. cool. Why are you so angry, man? Boop, 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 boop. Snails on a blade. Here you can see why Guan Wu is called Guan Wu. Guan Wu means like look at the clouds. And if you look here, you can see how quickly the clouds come in and disappear and come in again. Now we have coffee at the coffee, coffee, coffee shop, shop of Shepa Leisure Farm. Waffles, blueberry sauce. Mm. So the uh, leaves we had earlier, we had earlier, are actually used to make tea. Let's try it. It smells very herbal, herbal tea. 
like like grass. <laughs> and a bit, I think they added sugar. It's a bit sweet. So I'm now going to check out the DIY session where they make uh, blueberry jam. So they have classes. You can see it here: one o'clock, two o'clock, five o'clock, once an hour. So for dinner we have uh, some Western style. It's open. We have a selection of wine here. Next up, the soup. Onion. It's an onion soup. Yeah. This will mean that we have a lot of um, interesting smells in the room tonight. I have a pot, pot fish with an American flag. The chicken, yeah. spring chicken with a Bel Belgian flag, pork rib with a UK flag. down from the Shirpa leisure farm and here we have a great view down the valley. Down there you can see spots of clouds and in the trees are a lot of birds. It's like the, the forest is on fire. We are now at the Guan Wu Visitor Center. Here you can learn about the history of Guan Wu, like logging history. They have information in Chinese and English. This is like a sled for getting wooden blocks down from the mountain. Here you can see some saws, knife. So introduction to the trees you can see in the forests of Guan Wu. The three treasures of Guan Wu. Cypress trees, sea of clouds, Mikado pheasant. Some of the flowers, some of the birds, we saw this one. And this is the only place here where you can buy something to eat and drink. So here they have like chicken rolls and coffee. Chicken roll. Hot. Next stop, we are going to the Yun Wu Buddha, Yun Wu Trail, Yulon Trail, or Yun Wu Trail. You can go this way or this way. Heaven. So, in heaven. Shh. hello. So basically, basically. 
this is a great lookout spot where you can see Mount Jen, Mount Le, and Mount Kwai. But because of the mist, you can, cannot see anything. Another platform where we can see nothing. So what you cannot see here is Mount Dapa Jen, for example, Mount Ping Tien. Guan U waterfall forest shower trail. The trail is uh, 1.5 kilometers long. It takes about 40 minutes. I really like it here. It's uh, quiet. You hear birds singing, it's tall trees. It's easy to walk. A lot of uh, what I think is Taiwan fur. You want to see who makes that noise? It's up there. Cicada. All right, we finally arrived at the waterfall. Here it is. I think it has a total length or height of 120 meters, and that's as close as you can get to it. Beautiful trees over here, and the water is like silky, silky threads. Not much water, but quite beautiful. So overall, overall I like the Guanwu area very much. It's fresh, refreshing nature. It's quiet and peaceful at least on a weekend uh, on a weekday uh, with not many tourists you can enjoy the forest almost by yourself and what I also like is the, uh, the ever-changing scenery with the clouds coming in going out amazing <laughs> <laughs>